Hi, this is Fixed It. Uh, you're looking at the inside of a uh, Roland MV8000. And this has occurred uh, with a few of the items listed on the net. Uh, the midi in has failed on this unit. And um, here's the midi in connector here. So I've been uh, testing to see whether or not it's a major CPU problem or whether or not it's the opto isolator. And I discovered that the opto isolator itself was uh, um, no longer working, or at least the chain somewhere doesn't work. Um, due to an Arduino project that I have, I've uh, created this little breadboard MIDI interface. Um, there's no chip on it at the moment because currently the chip is here. And uh, so I plug some MIDI in here and then fed it directly into the line, which is normally the output of the opto isolator. It played the MIDI and flashed the MIDI light. So obviously, if I can get MIDI to the right point, um, I should be able to fix it. We're looking at a close-up of IC37 that was the opto isolator. The center pin at the top is the MIDI out which goes to the CPU. As I have some opto isolators uh, lying around, I thought I'd do a bit of breadboarding and uh, try and do a fix. Um, I put the uh, 6M136 chip there in place but it doesn't work directly obviously the resistors and capacitors need to be different also the Roland has a strange network of um, inductors and capacitors on the MIDI in uh, so I've just put these um, couple of orange wires on the MIDI in and I'm going to feed these directly into the uh, the other chip and then I'm going to do basically what I've done here which is to drive the opto isolator um, into a bit of CMOS logic which will give me much stronger levels and then output the uh, CMOS logic um, directly into the uh, MIDI in and then uh, hot glue the board somewhere inside. I'll uh, do the usual with a bit of error board and with a bit of luck um, I should have the thing finished uh, within the next couple of hours. Cheers, bye. So those three are basically running up to the uh, new opto isolator, the 6N136. Okay, fixed it again. Um, interestingly, um, the number of mods I need to do is actually incredibly small. Um, it turns out that the output level of the uh, 6N136 is great for uh, running the uh, uh, Roland in. So the change I've just made is to, uh, as I say, solder these two, which are the two MIDI in pins. Um, I've got a 6M136 and uh, one of the inputs for the MIDI is coming into this 220 ohm resistor and then in standard MIDI diode configuration across pins two and three with the black part of the diode on pin 2 and the clear glass area on pin 3 um, running that actually appears to uh, work ok the story so far I've uh, placed the uh, 6M136 on a IC socket turned it upside down and used a piece of double sticky uh, phone tape to hold it in place. I've then soldered uh, a 220 ohm resistor onto pin 2 um, and then the diode I've soldered between pin 2 and pin 3 and now I'm just about to connect this wire um, up to uh, pin 3 and then I'll uh, arrange the power and output side. Okay uh, the uh, wires are all in place. I've colour coded the uh, um, the 
positive and the zero volts so the red is the positive and that's pin 8 if you're doing this you have to remember that you're dealing with a chip that's upside down and back to front so uh, pin 8 is over there on the uh, top left hand side um, uh, pin 5 is the zero and pin 6 um, is the actual uh, digital out um, so let's see if it works I've fired it up it'll take a bit of time because I've loaded the demo to make sure it's got some MIDI sounds and uh, I'll let you know before I started all this I uh, I put the um, the demo MIDI output and use MIDI memo on the uh, iPhone and iPad to record the MV8000 demo MIDI channels, the first four channels. So here we go, fire it up. And it works. An absolute treat. The last job of course is to uh, remove the extra two wires which were actually the original first two inputs onto the um, or from the MIDI in which is now redundant as with all of this this is surface mount stuff so it is incredibly small um, so be very very careful I've got a temperature control soldering I'm in about 338 uh, centigrade 340 um, the tip I'm using is just a very very small pointed tip and even with a tip so small it is extremely difficult okay I'll delete those other wires and uh, check it out again okay as you can see I've uh, desoldered um, the, the two inputs on one side of the uh, opto isolator socket and then the other three I've had these micro wires uh, soldered to them and um, they're basically uh, 5 volts the digital output and 0 volts here's a close up of the MIDI in and the opto isolator chip as you can see the uh, 2 and 20 ohm resistor is going from the uh, left hand side of the MIDI in um, directly to pin 2 you can see the diode between pin 2 and pin 3 and you can see the uh, positive red and 0 volts green um, associated with the pin and then the digital connection input which goes down to the digital in um, next to the resistor of course is the other MIDI in which makes the opto isolator circuit overall I think it's a pretty neat job it's certainly not going anywhere and the good thing is the uh, heavy duty resistor I've used um, is actually pushing down on that opto isolator in its socket and then with the uh, sticky double sided tape holding it all in place I don't think none of this is going anywhere as with any of these projects uh, you don't want anything going walk about if it comes loose or the unit gets dropped you also don't want any cables that can rattle and these little thin plastic cables could really buzz a lot so I put a little bit of tape around them also put a piece of tape underneath the board and then across the top of the board the thing is that the because uh, that resistor there is soldered directly on it is actually pushing the IC socket and the IC down onto the board itself onto the tape so it should be secure anyway I also wanted to make sure that I didn't actually catch any of this uh, I'm not too concerned about these two um, as they're just coming in uh, up to isolated anyway so uh, as far as the rest of the unit's concerned they don't exist um, and that's it the uh, MIDI is now working perfectly I'll put it all back together and um, switch it on and let's hope to see the uh, LED flashing the right way up okay uh, the good news is that uh, the machine is loaded um, 
which means I haven't screwed up the power supply or blown anything up. And let's just press the uh, play button. And it's playing. Fantastic. Do a stop. There's also a number of uh, buttons, F, 4 and 5, that are really dodgy on this. Um, but I'm not going to try and do those at the moment because uh, I'm using the VGA out and I really don't need access to those buttons but at some stage I will dismantle the unit completely and uh, use some rubber heat glue in order to uh, remake those links and fix those buttons. Okay, catch you soon, bye.